Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial today we are going to cover how to perform method injection in spring. So in software development classes depend on each other to achieve a desired functionality. For example, an automatic ticket vending machine class depends on the ticket class to achieve the functionality of generating tickets. The dependency needs Need, need to be resolved before the desired functionality can be achieved. When dependency resolution is not performed by the class itself but it is left to be done by an external agent, it is called dependency injection. A spring supports three kind of dependency injections, constructor, setter and method injections. So constructor based dependency injections and setter based dependency injection already we had covered in previous series of video tutorial so in this video tutorial we are going to talk about the method injection uh, method injection method injection is different from constructor injection and setter injections while in constructor and setter injection a spring creates the bean and injects them using the constructor or setter method in method injection a spring overrides a in method injection a spring overrides a given abstract method of an abstract class or interface and provides an implementation of overridden method this is an advanced form of dependency injection and should be used in every special cases as it involves byte code manipulations by a spring a special case where method injection should be used uh, is when a prototype bin needs to use within a single turn. To understand this special case in which method injection is used, we need to understand a concept of a scope of a bin. So a spring can instance object in two ways, singleton and prototype. If you declare a bin as a singleton, then uh, a spring will create a single instance uh, for an entire a spring container. And whenever you call a get win method, then same instance will get returned to you. But in the case of prototype, a spring will always create a brand new object and that will return to you. In a spring terminology, singleton prototype defines such a scope of a win. Uh, there is usually one instance of ticket vending machine. So if, we, if we take an example of ticket vending machine, then there is a only one instance of ticket vending machine usually available in underground metro railway stations. However, a ticket vending machine generates a new instance of ticket every time. In this case, ticket vending machine bin has a, a scope of singleton, while ticket bin has a scope of prototype. In this project, we define a ticket class, ticket, ticket class and an abstract ticket vending machine class. The ticket vending machine class defines an abstract method called generate ticket, which returns a new ins new instance of ticket. Uh, we use a spring method injection to create a new instance of ticket, which is declared as a prototype uh, from ticket vending machine, which is declared as a singleton. We will configure a spring to override the generate ticket method and returns a new instance of ticket class. Finally, we need to create a client program to test this. So let's go ahead and create a new project in Eclipse. So right click over here, new Java project, give the project name method injection. Method injection. Click on the next and finally finish. Let's add a spring dependency jar. Go to the build path, configure build path, select libraries, add library, user library, then select a spring library. Now click on the OK. Now click a spring configuration file, new, others, search for XML. Here is the XML file, click on the next, give the file name beans.xml. So here you have to you have to provide xml doc type now let's create a 
class is called ticket vending machine so package name com dot info dot model and class name ticket vending machine and click on the we don't require main method in this class and this class declare as a abstract so this is our abstract class and we need to declare abstract method is called public abstract and return type would be ticket and I would give the method name generate ticket and of course we need to create this ticket class as well so create class and here is the ticket class here we are going to just define a method is called ticket and return message ticket has been printed <coughs> now let's configure this XML file here we need to define our bean class so first we need to define our ticket vending so let's copy qualified name of this class ticket vending must be copy qualified name so id and we need to specify a class ID I'm going to specify uh, this is a, a scope is here if you do not specify then singleton and even you can specify explicitly now we have another bin is called ticket so ID class so here also we need to specify qualified name of your bin class id ticket and this bin we are going to specify as a scope as prototype okay now here you need to specify a tag uh, it's called method lookup and method lookup you need to uh, name if you go to the, this class method name is generate ticket so you need to specify generate ticket and you need to supply one attribute is called bean bean is equal to id of this so almost we are done with configuring xml file now let's create a client program so right click over here class com dot infotech dot client and client give the class name as test select main method and here abstract application context application context you need to pass configuration file name 
which is present in src folder <coughs> and context dot get bin method right I'm going to use this get bin method so here is the bin id So this will return us ticket vending machine reference. Now we may call to method of this bin uh, call generate ticket. This will return the instance of ticket. And you can ticket dot print ticket right. let me run this application so here we go we get the output ticket has been printed so guys this concept is called method injection in a spring framework and this concept is very popular so this concept you may use in your project and especially for interview point of view it's so important so interviewer may ask you in different way they will not ask you question like what is method injection in a spring framework they may ask you suppose we have a, a singleton bin and within the singleton bin if you want to create a uh, uh, i mean bin which is a, which has a scope prototype then how we can achieve this so this kind of scenario you can achieve using method injections so that's all I have in this video tutorial. If you like my video, please like and subscribe it. Thank you for watching my video. See you in next video.